This is a video on the version uh, Oreo, Android version Oreo 8.1.0. And uh, I know a lot of people out there um, are probably buying these tablets. And this is the Galaxy uh, Tab A 10.1. And as you can see right there, I'll get you this to zoom in. Now, with the 10.1 uh, Galaxy Tab A, uh, a lot of people are probably wondering what the uh, Android's running system is on this, and it's Oreo. Uh, it doesn't come installed with Oreo, you gotta update it. It comes with 7.1.1 Nougat, and uh, which, it's not too bad of an uh, Android running system, but uh, a lot of people are probably wondering, how is this tablet at a mid-range tablet? Um, how does it handle the new software update? And uh, actually, it handles the software very well. Now, it, uh, it seems to work really good. It's uh, nice and smooth. Let's just zoom in here a little more so you can see it. Zoom out. Okay, so basically with the uh, tablet, um, everything seems to run really good on this. Uh, I had no problems with it. Um, watching videos on this tablet seems to be pretty damn good. Uh, you have no problems whatsoever, as you can see. Uh, we're going to turn the volume down so we don't get no copyright issues. But uh, for, you know, uh, the apps all seem to work really good with this tablet. And yeah, you don't have any problems. Like, it, I don't see any glitching, you know. I don't see anything wrong with the software itself. It seems to, this tablet seems to handle it pretty good. Um, I do have videos coming out soon with tips and tricks of what the software is like. And um, what the newest thing is added on this. And I thought I would share, uh, you know, a quick video letting people know that the new Oreo seems to work really good on the Galaxy Tab A. Now, the Galaxy Tab E, you will not be able to update that uh, to the Oreo version. And if you do, I don't think the tablet will be able to handle that update. Um, if it does, I'll be very, very surprised. Now, with uh, uh, that being said, I've had two Galaxy Tab E's and uh, it couldn't even really handle Nougat. Uh, it was glitchy, you install apps on it. Uh, it seemed like the more apps you put on the tablet, like I know it's only a 16 gig, but you're, exter you're installing these apps onto an external hard drive. Uh, you know, it shouldn't make a difference, but I noticed when you put the, tab the apps on your tablet and they're moved over to your external hard drive, I noticed some weird things happening, like they were uh, they were really hazy looking. The tablets weren't bright and colored. They were just the the look of everything looked shitty. Um, when you look at your screen, I mean, everything looks blurry. I noticed that as you know the time went on, and I had it in my hands. I didn't. I only had the tablet in my hands for like six days. And I noticed some other weird things happening, like glitching, uh, blue screen, jitter, uh, flickering on the screen. Uh, and what I came to, what conclusion I came to was that the tablet, uh, the resolution, and uh, you know, the processors and stuff was just not able to handle it. So, like I said, I'll be doing a video soon uh, on the Oreo and uh, what the software is like, and some head and tricks and features that I've noticed on there, and uh, and actually how to maintain uh, your tablet to keep it running smooth. They got maintenance devices in there, apps you can use. It comes with uh, pre-installed 
maintenance in there you can use to keep your apps from running in the background, puts them to sleep. Everybody knows that, but there's some key features in there that some people don't even know that are there. And uh, keeps your tablet, your battery, running very long. Uh, battery in this tablet, this is the Tabby, and it runs me almost two and a half days on a full charge. If you keep the brightness down on it and use it like you should, like don't crank your brightness up, two and a half days, you guys, almost three days on the battery on this tablet. That's using the maintenance and doing things right with your apps. So anyways, you guys, I'm not going to get too far in depth with it right now because, like I said, I'm still going over the software. I want to be able to, uh, you know, hands-on. I want to give you my honest opinion with the software, if there's any glitches, because it just released in, in uh, you know, a few few days ago. So uh, basically, I want to go over it. I imagine, you know, all you guys are going over it and found some stuff about it. But uh, I look for some key features in the software, uh, build part of the software. So um, I found some. I'm not going to release them yet. Uh, I want you to subscribe and, uh, you know, give me a thumbs up. And I'm going to bring these key features to you. And I know guaranteed that there's a lot of people that here don't know about the features that I'm going to show you. So you guys, right on, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, I appreciate your time stopping by. I have some unboxing videos of the Galaxy Tab B, e, and I also have unboxing of the Tab A, which is here right now, and I have unboxing of the case that this is in. As you can see, here's the case. Let me turn the light on there so you can see it. But here's the case that the Tab A is in, 10.1. Uh, I'll get a zoom out zoom out so here's the case there's an unboxing video of this case it's a very good case I will leave it I'll put a link in the description below where you can get this video and also it'll be a you know a clip over here on the side you can just click on I'm gonna have a couple videos here of the unboxings and reviews of the different tablets and the cases and the, you know screen protectors there's one screen protector I purchased that it was like seven bucks and it broke on me while I was doing the review and that'll be right here so, anyway, you guys, thanks for watching, and uh, like I said, please subscribe. Later.